Hey everyone, Jay here again with another video and today we're going to be talking about yet another mechanical switch. We're going to be going over the Duroc L7s. We're going to talk about my likes, dislikes, and whether or not I think you should spend your hard-earned money on these switches. Stay tuned. So to quickly run down the specs of this switch, it is a linear switch manufactured by JWK and sold by Duroc. They run you at about 50 cents per switch on AliExpress, which is where I bought them from. They're offered in several spring weights, which come in at 62, 67, and 78 gram springs. The springs are gold plated and the housings are made up of a polycarbonate top with a nylon bottom housing and a palm stem. So, just to give you a little bit of a background of my order history on this, I ended up ordering these off of AliExpress. I was interested in buying some alpacas. Alpacas were not available. And I did a little bit of research and found that, you know, these Duroc L7s are made by the same manufacturer. They're the same spring weight. They're basically just a recolor of an alpaca switch. So I said, why not try these out? So I went ahead and ordered these off of AliExpress. And again, they come in at 50 cents per switch. And the cool thing about AliExpress is that I wasn't tied down to ordering packs of switches. So like, you know how most vendors sell them in packs of 10 or like 25, you can actually pick the exact amount of switches that you want. So if you want some bizarre amount, like let's say 72, or 77 switches, you can do that with AliExpress. I did end up getting my switches. I've heard horror stories of people not getting their products when ordering off of this website. So thankfully, my switches ended up being delivered. I ended up getting my products, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, really no issues with the order whatsoever as far as these particular switches goes. Now, I do have a story about my Duroc T1s that I will be talking about in another video. Um, nothing big, but just kind of a, a different scenario that happened with the tracking and, and the delivery of those switches. So stay tuned for that. And as far as my likes and dislikes of these switches, it's gonna be pretty similar to the Tangerines. I'm a big fan of the translucent housings. I, I like that they're kind of smoky and black. And the cool part about these switches and ordering from the Duroc store is you get to choose between either clear housing and smoky housings. I personally like the uh, smoky versions of the switches, so I went with those. And since both the clear and smoky versions are very translucent, these switches are actually really good for perky RGB lighting. So if you're into the RGB thing, these switches are definitely gonna be great for those. Obviously the clear housings are gonna be a little bit better since they're not gonna be as tinted as the smoky versions, but both should work for your RGB satisfaction. Now, one of my dislikes was that the spring weight felt weird at first. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm a fan of heavier linears. Uh, they just feel good to type onto me. Uh, however, the more that I use the 62 gram springs in these switches, the more that I start to like them. Now, I'm not gonna say that these are gonna be my new favorite weight to type on, but as far as the feel goes, these don't feel too bad. They don't feel so weird now that I've been typing on these for some time. And like pretty much all JWK switches, these are PCB mount switches, which means they have two extra pins. Uh, to secure these switches into the PCB, which prevent them from moving around too much when soldering. Um, they just, PCB mount switches are just the way to go. Quick time out, sorry. Uh, I was editing the video and realized I completely forgot to mention a kind of big selling point to me at the time that I was buying these alpacas, which was, you know, a few months ago. Um, alpacas are really hard to come by at that point. And when I was shopping around for them, I couldn't find any. And so I decided to go ahead and do a little research and I found that Duroc L7s are basically just a recolor of alpacas. Um, and the fact that Duroc restocks them regularly was a huge selling point for me. Not only that, I felt like it was important to mention to people that because they restock them so regularly and show how many they have in stock on their Duroc store through AliExpress, that it's probably a little bit better to go there and buy them than to wait for a drop of actual alpacas to to happen so if you're in a hurry to try to buy some alpacas just get these and you'll probably be happy with the end result. i don't believe you can go wrong with ordering these especially from a store that is stocking them regularly so just wanted to make sure that that was in the video so that you are well informed 
about why I went with these versus just waiting for alpacas to drop from another vendor. Cool, so now back to wherever the video is. One thing that I wasn't a big fan of, much like the tangerines, was that these came pre-lubed from the factory, so they had a little bit of oil. And again, this is probably to promote them as smooth switches from the factory. Um, I would much rather prefer to have them completely dry and apply my own lubrication to these switches. But again, I get it. These are advertised as smooth for people who don't wanna take the time the one to however long it takes you to apply lube to the switches yourselves. It just makes it easier. It makes them feel nice. But if I were to get to choose, just sell them dry so I can put my own lube on them. It's not a huge deal because even applying some lube on top of the oil that's already on there uh, isn't like the worst thing in the world. I mean, they still feel great. They're not gonna feel mushy. They're not, it's, it doesn't really take away from that smooth feeling that uh, JWK switches are known for once they're lubed. And of course, pretty much like all JWK switches, you wanna film these. Uh, I went ahead and used Kibo films with these switches. And once they were both lubed and filmed, they sounded really nice and they felt really nice. And speaking of the way they sound, here's a sound test. So what'd you think? Sounded pretty nice, huh? Go ahead and leave a like if you like the way these sounded. Overall, I think these switches are a very, very good buy. The main reason that I wanted to review this particular switch is because I wanted to get my hands on some alpacas, um, but they're sold out everywhere. And it's really hard for me to try to find some unless I try to reach out in mech market. And we all know that mech market sometimes uh, there's a little bit of a premium when trying to buy things secondhand and I wanted to avoid that. I wanted to find a way to get an alpaca that was readily available for somebody to purchase from a vendor from somewhere versus having to reach out to somebody at Mech Market and get them from there. Now that's not to say that you can't find a good deal on Mech Market because there's obviously tons of people that sell on there all the time and you can probably find some who are selling them you know already lubed and ready to go for a decent price. Uh, so not knocking on Mech Market at all. Uh, but I prefer to buy them from the store myself, brand new, untouched, so that I can tailor them to my liking. If I were to give these switches a grade, I would give them a solid B, much like the tangerines. They are a very nice feeling switch once lubed and filmed, and they are a very nice sounding switch. Now, again, the lighter spring to me isn't my favorite, but the more that I type on it, the more that I like it. Um, I don't dislike it. I, I really do enjoy typing on these switches and because they're basically alpacas, I now see why people love alpacas. Alpacas tend to be right in that sweet spot where they're not too heavy and they're not super light and they feel and sound great. So with all that being said, please let me know in the comments section below, are you interested in buying some Duroc L7s now? I say if you're on the fence about buying Duroc L7s, if you're on the fence about buying alpacas, pull the trigger. These are a nice switch. You just can't go wrong with these. These these are these are very nice and 
and I have no problem recommending to them to anybody. So hopefully this helped your purchasing decision. If not, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below what you think I can include in these reviews to help you make an informed decision on your purchase. Thank you so much for watching as always, and until next time, peace.